Reuters. Not every model can look like Cindy Crawford or Naomi Campbell. It's these not-so-beautiful people which the ugly modeling agency in London has helped catapult into stardom for nearly 40 years. Unlike other agencies, they don't look for a size zero. In fact, many of these models look like they lead the lifestyles they truly want. Today's models are auditioning to be in a campaign to promote an international lottery agency. First, they must show their happy faces as if they've won the lottery, and then the look of disappointment. The models show off their individual talents. Antonio Francis is nicknamed Popeye for a reason. Another model, Prince Albert, holds the Guinness World Record for the most number of piercings at 475. Unsurprisingly, he says when he walks down the street, he's an instant hit with tourists and Londoners alike. It's generally very positive. I mean, coming here today, I had about 10 people taking photos of me at Edgware Road Station there. And... Uh, I go down to Camden where all the tourists like to take photos. Janet Mitchell became a model shortly after she lost her job, but the feisty lady says she doesn't mind being called ugly. Oh, I don't care. At least I get paid for looking like I do, don't I? You know, at least I've got that excuse. The ugly name may bode well for the English sense of humor, but owner Mark French thought he had to be especially careful when he launched in the U.S. And once they realised that and realised that it wasn't cussing anyone, it wasn't, you know, upsetting anyone, it's giving everyone that dream, it, was, it worked, so. If this modelling agency shows anything, it's that you don't have to be beautiful to be a model. Cindy Martin, Reuters.